Hello everybody, welcome to the Palace of Versailles, just outside Paris, France. Louis XIV's palace built in 1680, one of the most important and historic places on earth, the UNESCO World Heritage Site. I'm alone inside the palace. I'm going to show you around. Check out this room here. Uh, how have you got your followers there? Let's have a look. Okay, 51. Okay, who wants to, who's ready to go on the tour? That's a good idea. Take some screen grabs. You are about to see exclusively one of the greatest buildings on earth. Let's go. This way. Come on. So you've got a long corridor here leading to the highlight of Hall of Mirrors, which I'll show you. Check it out. Built by Louis XIV, he chose to build, there was a royal hunting lodge here before, but he chose to build this enormous palace. We got in about 1660, ready about 1680, the court moved in, all the courtiers had rooms here. It was a way of Louis XIV keeping his aristocrats and courtiers close so he could actually control them. He locked them, it was said, in a gilded cage. Here's one of the bedrooms. This actually belonged to his son, I think. It's closed today, so the sunlight is uh, being barred. Thanks for the hearts, guys. Check it out. It's pretty remarkable. Now, there's someone doing the vacuuming next door. So, uh, I think I can hear someone doing the vacuum. Like I said, the palace is closed. To it. Come on, let's keep going. This palace is seen. There you go. She's vacuuming the imperial, the, red, the regal bias there. Probably would have been like this. <laughs> Into this absolutely stunning room here. Check it out. The main excitement is this way. Louis XIV thought of himself as the saviour of France. He thought of himself like Mars, the Roman god. So there he is up there on his horse wearing classical armour. There we go. Now check this out. This, my friends, is the Hall of Mirrors. This is the most famous single room in the world. Let's go and check it out. This was where Louis XIV would walk from his bedroom to the chapel and the aristocrats would gather around him seeking favours. Uh, there are 17 arches, each with 21 panes of glass, 357 panes of glass, mirrors in all. Everything had to be from France. Everything in this room had to be from France. It was to celebrate France. And the mirrors had to be brought from Venice. And special craftsmen had to be brought in from Venice. And the Venetian government didn't want them coming here and spreading the secrets of mirror making. So apparently they sent assassins to kill them all. I'll, uh, I'll just help with my crew. Check it out. Now, in this room, it is hard to describe what has gone on in this room. This is the room which Louis XIV used to stride up and down while he was remaking Western Europe. This is the room that Louis XV met his mistress, Madame de Pompadour, who's one of the most important women in 18th century France. This is the room in which, in 1871, Otto von Bismarck signed the German Empire into existence. He turned the Prussian king into a German emperor here in Louis XIV's Hall of Mirrors, ultimate mark of disrespect to France. And so unsurprisingly, it was here in 1919 that the victorious allies dragged the defeated Germans from World War I and made them sign the Peace of Versailles, which of course was then used by Hitler to generate, to generate votes and anger against the Peace of Versailles to propel Hitler into office and help to start World War II. Now it's where the French, both houses of French Parliament meet before uh, every parliamentary session. It's pretty amazing. Let's go for a walk down. Check out the roof. On the roof, you've got scenes from Louis XIV's life, or scenes as he wished his life had been, uh, as well as allegorical scenes from classical history and, and the Bible. He's got victories over his many enemies. Louis XIV did manage to expand the, the kingdom of France, but ultimately his career ended, like all politicians' careers end, in failure. France was bankrupt and broken. There's my crew. Just doing a little bit of filming here. Check out, as always, guys, check out my Facebook, Downstairs History Hit, and my Twitter, History Hit, for more of these videos. Thanks, Periscope, for letting me do this.
Right, I better go back and do some work. Thanks very much, everybody. <laughs>